Hello everybody, welcome back to Back Out of the Case, this is Skyflight44, aka Sect44, and today I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. We actually have three Pokemon ready to be purified. One of these I'm going to be taking with me, and these two I'm going to be putting into the actual, uh, what was it called, uh, uh, purification chamber. These two I'm really not going to be doing all that much with at the moment. Spinarak, I definitely want to go and take with me, possibly. However, Numel, I'm going to be... Well, that's going to be one of my first Pokemon I'm going to be sending into the Purification Chamber. Um, it would definitely help with, uh, you know, trying to go and max out uh, my ability in uh, one of those Purification Chambers. Because there's nine. You can purify nine different Pokemon at the same time. There's nothing over there. And actually, there's not really anything over here either. There is a item here, or maybe two chests here. But uh, once again, Colosseum greatly expands on this actual area. Because again, it's one of the later actual areas uh, in that game. However, this one is the you know, earliest. But, uh, Signal Beam Chimeco. You want to see how freaking wonderful this actual attack is? It's like 65 power, um, double it, 130, and then uh, 1.5 would come out to, well, just, uh, let's see, 195 power? Granted, Chimeco isn't all that bad of a Pokemon, but, uh, that's great, actually. That, is, that really is great. Okay, what are you gonna do? Astonish. Hopefully it doesn't flinch me. And Jigglypuff's not going to be surviving this set either. Uh, I, I, again, said this before, but Jigglypuff's actually become one of my favorite Pokemon of the first generation, in which I've actually started using it in Super Smash Bros. because of it. Disable. Uh, okay. Shadow Bliss was disabled. So, that actually kinda sucks. Uh, uh, Shadow Beam, and. Actually, wait. Shadow Blitz, and then Digged Dunsparce. Oh, shit, that's critical. Uh, probably gonna have to get rid of, you know, get Numel out of there. Couldn't do dig on Jigglypuff, because then that would have had an extra turn. Oh, well. Oh, good, glare. Actually, wait, bad glare. Uh, I, I just glad that it's not going to be getting, you know, if it did rage again, I would have uh, been taking its attack power up twice. We definitely wouldn't have wanted that. Now... Okay, I can use it. I know it, uh... Signal Beam. Okay, I... Damn it, it's still disabled. I thought... I was wondering if the... If it was actually going to continue to be disabled, uh... If I took out the Pokemon that disabled it. Because that uh, works with a lot of other type of moves. I think, if I remember correctly. Oh shit, it's Rage is building. Granted, the only person that can actually attack, well, the only Pokemon that can actually attack is Spinarak. That, it's not really going to have any kind of... Yeah, it's not going to be able to do much, so... Well, that's it. Oh, shit. Okay, let's get out, and I'm going to be bringing up Jolteon. I'm not going to be keeping out Numel. Uh, granted, I don't really care if it faints, but I'm not going to purposely let my Pokemon faint for, you know, no fucking reason. 
Come on, spin a rock. Good work. Now I wonder, what is... If I actually use Spinarak for the entire game, what am I actually going to be going and doing with it? I know I'm going to have... I'm always going to keep, you know, Signal Beam. I'm probably going to give it at least Psychic. Um, I like having some move diversity. Definitely Nightshade. Probably some kind of more supportive move. Let's get new mount, true mighty in, and then jolt you on the spinner rack. Because it's probably. Yeah, there's one more fight. Only one of these guys is actually going to fight us. But, uh. Oh, really? Uh, I saw him real flesh and blood, and he's menacing. The sight of him gives me shivers. Oh, really? Master Grievel. Supposedly makes a tour of all the ciphers facilities. Oh, so that's the guy that we're actually going up against. Oh, look! Suspicious intruder! We've been here for at least a minute. <laughs> and you were talking, you idiots. Okay, clots. Oh, well, this shouldn't be all that bad. Snubble! Uh... Oh, well, that, this is going to be all that difficult. Uh, I, I have a good way of uh, beating. We'll keep Snubble alive for at least one attack. We're going to be uh, Thundershock the Kecleon so that's no longer normal, so that its moves no longer you know have the stab boost. Oh, it paralyzed too, cool. Um, then we're going to dig and take it out that way. Although, I don't know if it's actually going to be able to beat it. Oh, look at that. We actually missed out on the charm. Great. But now we're actually going to be attacking Snubble. I love actually battling uh, Kecleon. Just because of... Uh, oh, critical hit, too. Uh, just because, you know, you can screw it over that way. And it actually does give quite a lot of experience. Granted, it's cut in half, because we're in a double battle, but... Okay, Shroomish is Shadow Pokemon. There's pretty much... I think there's only one more Shadow Pokemon left. But... Can't be completely sure about that. Well, other than the Shroomish, there's definitely a Delcaddy. I don't think there's any other Shadow Pokemon inside the facility owned by any other people. We do have to face Snaps, but I don't think he has a Shadow Pokemon. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, well, Howl, I guess. I'm not going to be using Poison Fang. I'm scared that's going to take the thing out. Okay. So, if Thundershock does that amount of damage, because its power is 30, because it's not very effective, then I can probably use Bite with Jolteon. It shouldn't do too much damage. Okay, then I could do Thundershock and try catching with Mighty Anna. I don't really trust using Mighty Anna trying to take it out. No, now that I think about this, anything good about this point in the game and using Mighty Anna is the fact that it actually has, a, you know, a bit of health to it. And um, it also has, uh, what was it called? Uh, some greater defense to it that it can actually survive some hits on like Poochiana, which, as you remember, got beaten down quite a few times. I think. I know it got beaten down at least once. No, it's probably like twice, three times. Because uh, I had to go back to heal it so many times. 
Okay, shroomish. Yep. Don't bother trying. Okay, you don't know how scary Lavrina can be. Ah, oh, she looks cute and all, but she's nothing short of terrifying. Okay, that's two of those little bastards that tried going and, uh... You know, just running. But we have the ID card. We can get into that, um... We can actually get into that area, that elevator. The thing about it is Colosseum, we actually had to go through here and go around. Uh, that lab... That lab area down here is actually the end of the place. We actually had to go the opposite way through this entire lab, though. Which I actually do like. It's... At least you're, you are treading the same area as you were in Colosseum, but you were doing it in a completely different way. Easier, and the complete opposite way as well. Because I think you might have actually had to go this way, um, like down this path in the first part uh, of Colosseum, well, uh, of the actual area. However, in this, this time, you actually have to go and do this uh, last and wait there is not anybody like naps is right here but i thought there was another person down there maybe it was in uh oh, what was it called uh coliseum <laughs> yeah come on come on i, I want to fight you want to fight and Naps, uh, yeah, he wants to fight too. However, he's not going to be all that much of a problem. He does have a Rhyhorn, though. Which, as you can probably tell, isn't the best Pokemon for me to be going up against with a Jolteon. Especially with that Murkrow over there. I don't think it has a... I don't think it actually has any kind of, uh, what was it called? Ah, oh, damn. I don't think the Rhyhorn has any kind of ground type move, which I'm going to hope is the, um, is, you know, what's actually gonna happen. Actually, I'm gonna do Bite, see if I can, uh, get that Mark Rope flinched. And then, will send out Sphiel. Because I... I know what Thundershock's going to do the majority of damage to the Markro. Flinched, yes. Oh, it actually knows Mudslap. Well, at least it isn't a good actual move. Well, at least not a damaging move. Well, I'm still going to have to go and do another bite. And Water Gun on Rhyhorn will take it out. Damn Now, let's see. Water Gun. And with Rhyhorn out of the uh, picture. We can actually go and use electric type attacks because that Rhyhorn, I uh, especially with the Murkrow right beside it, most likely has, and I do believe it has, uh, Lightning Rod. Which Lightning Rod makes it so we can't actually go and uh, any and all electric type attacks moves over onto the. What's it called? Uh, Rhyhorn. How much, you know, it's mute. God damn, I really... Just one accuracy down and I'm losing... Uh, you know, I'm missing every single attack. Okay, let's try that again. That should take it out. Now, what should I do now? I kind of want to go and get, you know, bring 
Jolteon back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be bring, bringing uh, Jolteon back for uh, something else. Uh, fuck it, let's just go and bring out uh, Spinarak. And then we'll, uh, I guess we'll just go use Bite on the Slack Off. This should take out the slack off, at least. Now, do I go and use Dig on the Beldum or not? Ooh, it missed. It's probably going to attack Mighty Enna again, so I'm gonna go and dig a hole. Maybe it might miss. Because when that Dig, you know, catches that Beldum, that Beldum's down. Oh, went out to spin a rack. Well, I don't really mind. Even though we're not going to have a chance to heal easily anyway, we can go back. But, because we're not going to be able to go back to the closest healing station. Um, we're not going to be able to heal up. I, I really don't care if spin a rack actually gets hurt all that much, because I'm not going to be using it. Uh, we're definitely going to be using Jolteon, though. Okay. Yeah, Cypher is not big and scary. Shadow Pokemon might be, and a Shadow Lugia might, you might you know, make you shit your pants. But I, I, I highly doubt that Cypher itself is actually scary. Leaf Stone. I told you, we were going to get a Leaf Stone pretty early. Let's go grab a potion. Probably gonna have to buy a few of those. But at least, at least this is Pokemon. There's no freaking escort missions. That would be, you know, annoying. Now, I don't know which of the two scientists actually go and bring in Lavrina. There's just two of them that leave uh, to go and find it. Oh, it's, I think this is the other guy. The second one that we uh, seen run away. Okay. She doesn't want anybody leaving. Yeah, no, I'm taking him back. Yeah, uh, Lavrina, go to hell. Shadow Pokemon, the ultimate Shadow Pokemon that can never be purified. <laughs> yeah, guess what? She almost made it unpurifiable. You can actually, when you catch the thing, purify it. The thing about it is, you actually need to... Basically, it cannot be purified, except if you actually completely uh, make uh, what was it called um, the purification chamber uh, if you make every single uh, chamber all nine of them if every single one of them is working at max capacity the best it possibly can that Lugia can be purified but this is the cypher admin theme it's pretty good as well but uh, it shouldn't actually be all that difficult. She does have the Delcaddy. The Delcaddy can be annoying. This is like level 20. Actually, do we have a break ball? I don't really think we do. But, uh, oh well. Come on, Mighty Anna. Love Disc is a shit Pokemon. It's so shit that uh, Pokemon X and Y actually declares it's shit by making it one of the Pokemon you can actually find through the, um, uh, what was it called? Old Rod, <laughs> instead of any of the good Rod, or, you know, Super Rod. You know, the actual great Rods. 
instead of you know, just a shitty fucking old one. Okay, and there's Del Caddy. And shot a Pokemon. Del Caddy actually has some decent attack power. The big thing about it is, you know, it's. It, the shadow moves are actually super effective. And the entire. Wait. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to get rid of Jolteon. But, um. Uh, it, it is super effective. So. That isn't going to be the best thing for you to actually uh, go and fight from a, you know, Delcaddy. Delcaddy is a fully evolved Pokemon as well, so it has some decent stats to uh, make that uh, pretty bad for you. Not to mention, Shadow Rush is one of, God, it's got a critical hit, but Shadow Rush is not Shadow Blitz, it's powerful. But well, we're gonna go and put out Sphere. Oh shit, why did I put out Sphere? I completely forgot the fact that there's still a uh, Roselia over there. I just thought of what I should do. Okay, Numel and. Feel I'm not keeping you out there. We're going to see that. Hopefully, I now I only think I know Dig. Shit. I was hoping I actually knew something different so I could actually go and uh, maybe Ember so I could actually go and take out that Roselia. For fuck's sake! How much? That wasn't even critical! <sighs> New Mel, you're so fucking oblivious, too. Uh, what did Shadow Shed do? It's probably something like a refresh or something. Uh, let's see. We're definitely going to be secret power. I wonder. Let's try this out. Oh, shit! She's not actually stupid. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, please. Ah, fuck! <laughs> oh, damn. There is one good thing about this. Uh, we'll go and put out Spinarak. Um, Jolteon ha doesn't have Leech Seed on it anymore. Well, this is actually more dangerous than I originally thought. Maybe this is really a lot more dangerous than I originally thought. Okay. We're going to be using a Super Potion on Spinarak, and I'm a Spinarak. We're going to be doing Signal Beam on Roselia. Uh, it's not going to be super effective because of the poison. But, it, you know, it should do a good amount of damage. Oh, that's great. Motherfucking Del Caddy. If it wasn't for that stupid actual, uh... If it wasn't for that stupid freaking... What was it called, uh... Damn, critical hit, I would still have my Mighty Anna. Ooh, it actually worked. And that's not gonna do jack shit. <laughs> oh, jack shit. Del Caddy's just too powerful. I'm actually going to do Dig. Let's see, can I get any kind of damage off on it? Oh, some. Oh! That's right! Completely forgot! 
It's paralyzed. It can't actually, you know, it goes after. That should take it low enough that I might be able to catch it. However, with my uh, new mal, I'm actually going to be. Oh, shit. Um, I'm actually gonna try catching it with my uh, new mal, then using signal beam. Uh, the thing about it. I remember having a great ball at this point in my earlier playthroughs. Maybe I'm just mistaken. Oh, I actually caught it. But I, I would like to have used a great ball there. Oh, how could I be so strong? Because so many of your goons tried fighting me. How... You could have easily beat me when I got here. <laughs> you know, you could have easily beat me when I got here. If you found me in the beginning, I would have... You know, you could have tortured me to death if you really wanted to. However, I looted your base. I caught all of your shadow Pokemon. And, well... What do you think? My Pokemon leveled up. Ah, <laughs> stupid. I wonder. Uh, oh yeah, by the way. We, we are going to go straight to, um, you know, lab. So, let's go see what that shadow uh, purification chamber is all about. Let's go some purify some shadow Pokemon. Okay, purify, uh, purification chambers already done. It's gonna be great. Though I am going to have to go and use the purification chamber a few times. Uh, just to purify everything, because I didn't go to a gate to purify any of the ones I have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shadow incident. We don't care. We don't care. We just want to use it. Damn it, we just want to use it. Okay. Now they're going to make us. Basically, they're going to make us do all the work. They set up some things, but we have to do all the work. And come on, I'll explain it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Fucking hell. Yes, yes, I'm done. The thing about it is... Actually, Pokemon... The Shadow Pokemon, in theory, can be, you know, have their hearts opened up by being surrounded by... Well, normal Pokemon. Normal as in not Shadow, not normal as in the type. So... What we're actually going to do is we're going to be putting Teddy Ursa. And to make this go faster, we're also going to be going and putting Lediba in here. However, to actually have them purified, we are going to need normal Pokemon in there. So let's go and bring out Jolteon. And we'll go and bring out uh, Mightyena. Now, I'll, I'll explain a little bit more after I actually finish these, but, uh, we'll exit. Pokemon ready to go and open its heart. Adiosa! And with this, is gonna do the same exact thing as, uh, you know, the Relic Stone in the gate. Now, what is it going to do? It learned return, and the southern move was refresh. Uh, again, you know, a move it's probably not going to learn, uh, even through rag moves at this time, anyway. Yes, let's switch sets to the Luddy Buff. And now with these two Pokemon, 
I'm going to take Mariana with me, but I'm going to leave both the... Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave both the Lediba and the... What was it called? Uh, I'm going to leave the Lediba and the Tadiosa. Okay, level 1. Let me level 11 and get up to... Actually, was it... Did learn Comet Punch and Refresh? I don't really remember what the first move was. Oh, yeah. Now, the big thing about it that I, you know, I was trying to stress earlier, why you would actually want to go and, you know, trying to get as many of your Pokemon um, working as possible, is the fact that, uh, uh, what was it called? Um, you want to leave, you have to leave Pokemon here to actually go and get yourself more Pokemon purified. The more you have in here, the better you're going to be able to get, you know, faster pur uh, purification rates. And so, you know, you're just going to be able to purify faster. And, um... You didn't have this in Colosseum. In Colosseum, you actually had to have the Pokemon with you all the time uh, to actually get them purified. And this one, you have this nice little chamber for that. However, to be able to go and do anything, you know, wonderful, you actually have to have quite a few Pokemon in here. And it's kind of a snowball effect. Okay, and we'll put away the Teddy Ursa. And we'll also put the Ladiba. Now, let's see. Uh, we'll go and put the Numel there as well. Okay, now here's the thing. There is Flow, which I don't really remember what Flow is, what that does. But Tempo is what you actually have to go and look at. Tempo will basically I mean, you know, how fast is it going to, you know, purify. To get the best actual, you know, the best possible, um, you know, Tempo, you actually have to go and uh, do some work on it. I'm going to bring out the Sphere. I'm going to put it here. Now, putting it here, the entire ring around it is this blue. However, if I put it here, it's a more, you know, whitish blue. That means it's actually a good connection. You want to have a super effective connection. Like, uh, if I were to go and bring out Mightyena and put it right here, then the Luddy Butt also has that super effective connection. And to be honest, right now, this is actually a pretty kick-ass one. Like if I had a uh, Metatite right here, and which would be psychic and fighting, it would complete the connection with all good connections, which would allow me to uh, you know, have perfect tempo, which would completely speed up trying to get this a new mill, which I, okay, there, um, which would speed up trying to go in purifying this, which after this one I could put in here and, you know, everything goes on, but I'm keeping these two Pokemon with me. As you can see, the tempo went back down to shit. However, if I actually go and get my uh, Numel done and, you know, something else, it's going to be pretty easy. Okay. No, we don't want to continue doing anything in there. I hope that's a good enough explanation. Uh, do I have full? Yes, I do have full health. Uh, Spinarak. Yeah, you still need some more. However, if I remember correctly, there's something I'm going to have to do. Oh. Uh, 
she's gonna talk about the or both of them are going to talk about that data rom that we picked up at, after beating Lavrina. We have to go to talk to Datan. It's remember when we actually had to go and uh, find Lily after when we need to go and get the machine part. That's the room. That's the ton. Thing about it is, we have to go and take this. He, he can't do anything with the CD. It's, you know, he can't decipher it. It's uh, just encrypted. Oh, so he's not up there. We actually have to go and find him. But, uh, the... We have to go take it to somebody who knows how to decrypt. Uh, and, and, you know, find out what, uh, Cypher's up to. Where is he? Well, he's, well, right over here. Okay. Yep, scared right out to death, cool. Uh, let's see, that ROM is heavily protected like a bank vault. Well, it takes a seriously talented guy to break through and get at the contents. Ooh. I wonder who the seriously talented guy could be. Well, guess what? If you played Coliseum, it's somebody from Coliseum. Okay. I have to deliver the data ROM to ONBS, which is basically a... It's most likely going to be Ore uh, News Broadcast Station. I don't really remember what it is, but it is a news station. And, um, yeah, it's a TV network. So, I'm guessing that's probably what it means. Uh, we have to go and bring it to SEC. I thought we had to bring it to NET. I think that's what the guy's name was a bit. <laughs> they all have these stupid freaking names. But, um, I'm going to... I'm probably going to end it here after I get to Pirate Town. But... That was the first act of the game. This next act, I don't really remember when it actually ends, but we're more in the middle of the game now. Still not all that far into the game. But this is when the game opens up a bit. I should probably say. Um, now let's think about it. How many actual ones are there? I believe there's four acts in the game each one generally ends with a you know cipher or cipher um actual uh plot or area that we have to go to and you know fix uh they'll have a uh, cipher admin as well but i'm just gonna save it and then uh, that'll be it i'll be where we ended actually uh see ya everybody until next time